He's always good to his old dad. Never forgets our bowls. Unless he can't help himself. I hope he's good to you. Yes. Yes, he is. Because you're a grand girl. Thanks, Jim. If ever he isn't, if he ever lets you down, you just let me know. He's no son of mine if he doesn't play straight with a nice girl like you. I thought those shoes were rubbing. I've got a blister. Put a plaster on it. Don't to get it infected. Is jogging bad for the knees? <laughs> of course not. Ralph says it is. What does he know? Wish you'd come with me. Haven't got time. I get enough exercise walking around the plant. Edna used to exercise. Often see her walking to the shops. Oh, that's quite different. Edna was elderly. Not so young yourself. I can't help worrying. Uh, I'm being careful. I watch what I eat. Well, I've got some lovely new recipes. No cream, no butter. I only had cream cakes at the funeral because Harry insisted. Make sure you charge him for them. He's beaten me to it. It's already paid. Really? What did it come to? Well, I didn't want to ask him a lot. How much, Anna? I didn't want to charge him for my labour, either. How much? Twenty-five pounds. How much did that meal cost to put on? Thirty-three. With the drinks? Fifty-six. Fifty-six pounds. Do you realise what that means? You've subsidised Harry Cross to the tune of over thirty pounds. Yes, I realise that. Well, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. What? Let's put it down as one, one of the expenses of the business. Well, that's ridiculous. Let's go and explain it to him. I'll do no such thing. And why ever not? Because I feel sorry for him. Well, so do I. I'll be as nice to him as I can. This is business. You can't afford to be sentimental. Well, it's my business, and I'll decide. Well, you'll never make a go of it, then. Well, got to get on with the neighbours. Thanks. See ya. You've got to get on with your neighbours. Not a bit means giving them our curtains. What do we want with second-hand curtains? Glad they've gone. They were last. It's not you that has to pay for them. I'll get some of them ready-made ones. You still have to be paid for. Well, that's all right. We're both working. For now we are, but how long will that last? There's no point in going out to work if you can't have what you need. But we don't need curtains. We had some. What do you give them away for, you daft melts? It's not worth it, Billy, causing trouble. It's worth it to me if it means money in the bank. I'm not having second-hand curtains. I'm going to make this place a little palace. Nice now, you know, you're living somewhere decent. It was decent on the estate. I don't know what she's making all the fuss about. Some of them were always washing the curtains. Yeah, but some of them didn't even have any. Do you remember when we used to look into Mr. Watkins' kitchen when he was having one of them all over washers? Oh, I've seen better than that. Have you? Well. That'd be telling, wouldn't it? Hey, watch you. There'd be none of that here. Still, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice having all different houses. A bit dead, though, miss me, mate. Good riddance, if you'd ask me. You'll get to know people. Yeah, and I'm sick of scraping off wallpaper. I know she's going to have no walls left. I know, Doreen, the mad decorator. I'll tell you, said that. All right, Mum. Hiya. Do you think that looks right? No. I can't understand it. It should do. Look, here's five, six, seven. That one's too small. You'll be left with loads of grout. I know, I can't understand it. To get you behind the knees and all this crouching. Yeah, give us the leaflet. I don't know why you think that'll help. It's obvious six must come after five. Aya? Uh... Oh, hello. I'm Karen. I'm Tracy. That one's ours. Yeah. Is it your mum who's got the baby? That's right, yeah. I'll clear. 
My mum's got every house sorted. You've been keeping an eye. You can't breathe around here without everyone knowing. The only ones that you're not sure about is Dan. Who's living with him? Well, Pat and Terry and Sandra, they all live together. Yeah, but you know how. Well, that's up to them, isn't it? Get the comb? Yeah, fifth form. You wear him? Well, actually, I'll start university the week after next. I fancy university, but it's getting the exams, isn't it? I got two B's in the suit. What the horse was you? Me, ma'am. Cabin. Hi, Cabin. Hello. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Depends what it is. Well, it's nothing personal. Well, not very. Go on. Where'd you come from? Liverpool, where's the sound like? Yeah, but did you used to live on the estates? That's right. Of course, I'd seen you somewhere before. We did too. Yeah, they'll all be coming here at the straight for another estate. Ta-ra! So that's what you two have been doing all day? No, not all day. I was racing before. Yeah, but it's finished now. I've been on my feet since 8 o'clock this morning. Sometimes I think I'm a right mug. What's up? You had a bad day? Couldn't say that. Hey? It's a patient. Somebody died in the war today, and I come home and I find that all you two have done is watch the telly. Sorry, Sandra. What else is there to do, eh? I mean, he hasn't had any cars in for ages, and I... I haven't got a job. Fed up about that, too. <sighs> it's not our fault. I know it's not. But it doesn't mean to say I like it. Do you know what it feels like to be the only one bringing money in? <sighs> well, I've got a car coming in next week. Yeah, and I've sent off another application form. What are your chances, eh? No, uh, not good. No. And if you did get a job, it would mean moving away. Yeah, just when we were getting settled, eh? The not going to be much good this winter. I haven't got a garage now that Addy's got a car. We've got to think of something. I thought you might be trying for the Marathon. If I could do twice round the park, I'd be satisfied. It's very good for you. Yes, well, I need the exercise to run off the effects of my cooking. Oh, cook a lot, do you? It varies. Uh, three times last week. Oh, that's including the funeral, of course. Of course. Uh, I run a catering business. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> but I'm trying to cut down on the cream. <laughs> I work for the dentist. Oh, that's nice. It is very nice. He's very good. I can recommend him. Oh, good. So I can always fit people in, in an emergency. We've been in charge of the appointments. Oh, well, that must be very useful. I could fit you in if you like. I could get you an appointment this week. Oh, well, uh, we're quite satisfied where we are, thank you. And he does lovely fillings. Try the other way off. It's just as wide as you ever wait, Divi. Give it here. He can't have meant it that way, can he? See what I mean? Hang on a minute. Is there another one? Another one what? Another number six, of course. Why should there be? Pity the sun's gone in. You finished decorating? There's a lot to do. I'd rather you than me. <laughs>